talking about sacrificial giving. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 through 7. Moreover, brethren, we make known to you the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the riches of their liberality. But I bear witness that according to their ability, yes, and beyond their ability, they were freely willing, employing us with much urgency that we will receive the gift and the fellowship of their ministry to the saints. And not only as we had hoped, but they first gave themselves to the Lord and then to us by the will of God. So we urge Titus that as he had begun, so he will also complete this grace in you as well. But as you are bound in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in all diligence, and in your love for us, see that you abound in this great also in this grace also praise god so this is very wonderful that these guys from this church just like wellspring church of all nations amen says they were liberal in their giving despite their situation they were actually begging to give but there's something else that is important. Our giving does not buy us salvation. What they did first was to give themselves to the Lord. You see, when they gave themselves to the Lord, they were able to give freely. And you see, when we humble ourselves before God and submit ourselves before God, there is honor, life, and riches according to the word of God. Amen? And one other thing he says also, he says that once you've begin, begun this, he was talking about Titus, don't give up. Continue in this grace. You see, giving is a ministry of grace by itself. And he went further to say, okay, you are bound in everything, in speech, in conduct, in prophecy, speaking in tongues, praying for 20 hours, but see that you are bound in this grace. Grace of giving. Grace of giving yourself to the Lord. Grace of understanding that with God, all things are possible, no matter your situation. They were poor, yet they were rich because they know or they knew where their source was coming from. Amen? Offering time. Blessing time. The Lord is good. And all the time. Let's give. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Thank you for showing us the example of the church in Macedonia. That even out of their poverty, even out of their difficult times, even when they didn't know where the next meal was going to come from, yet they gave themselves to you. Heavenly Father, may we individually and collectively as a body give ourselves unto you. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will touch each one of us, that we will start excelling in this grace of giving. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to seed into your kingdom. Father, what we've given is just from you, Lord. 
is the tip of the iceberg. Father, we thank you for your loving kindness is always steadfast and your faithfulness always flows from your throne towards us, Lord. We thank you. Use what we've given, Lord, to expand and touch lives in your kingdom. To you be all the glory, for we have prayed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody says, Amen. Amen.